Hi guys, so this is day 18, it's about 6 hours, uh, I'm in kilometer 34, 36 and I'm doing the kind of thing that I really hate, I really try to avoid as much as possible but I'm, uh, I'm constricted by time and I still have a lot to go and I really need to get through so I'm trying to cut through uh, an un uh, somewhere there is no path now the path I was supposed to take was impossible to get through and I'm left with this option or get around which will take a long long time and uh, I'd really like to avoid that so I'm trying to see if there is any way through it doesn't look like it for now but you never know uh, now this is complicated because right here there are forests it's places that are really not hospitable uh, in that sense and it's not easy uh, everything is uh, overgrown there is lots of vegetation and it's not the easy kind of vegetation it's the kind of vegetation that bites you leaves marks and rips you apart so really not enjoyable so we're gonna see what happens but it doesn't look good Now this is the kind of thing that may get quite dangerous because there is no path so the stepping is quite unsure right now I'm really moving on uncertain grounds uh, there can be snakes different kind of animals and uh, it's unstable terrain so anything can fall apart I can hurt myself easily so this is the kind of things that you only do when you're left with really no choice now it's quite late now which is why the light is quite low and I, I'm still gonna have to run by moonlight or in the darkness by a headlamp but I'd like to move ahead as much as possible and leave as little as possible on the roads because that's how we'll be running when I run with my headlamp I will really try to avoid small paths and that means that it will be longer because that's usually the case okay I might have a way through so we're gonna see what where that leads us because I, I think I can see our path right there and this looks like it's some kind of stream or dry stream as usual we are in August and my hope is we can get through this and I think I can see so this looks finally promising now I'm really tired but this is the kind of fatigue that is normal in these kinds of runs so I know that it's nothing I should be worried about it's just I have to try and help my body as much as possible because it is getting weaker and weaker so it's just signaling me that it's really tired and it would like to stop but I have to push it and today I have a challenging run a long run compared to the ones I did before even though I got to rest still one piece effort and now what is worrying me now is I'm thinking about water I'm thinking about the food I have which might not be sufficient for such a long run and right now okay let's see okay I have reached something now this is 
a very good thing. This is the first. Uh, we've reached another road now. This is the road I've been trying to take before, but it was basically things had grown all over it. It wasn't kept, so I couldn't go through. So what I have to hope is that the path, this uh, this side of the path, is still in good shape in a, enough to be walked through and that I won't be blocked. But anyways, if, even if I am, I'm going to try and figure out a way through. And the thing is, on my map, I can see a little path that I was supposed to take. And I had a shortcut through other small paths that weren't marked. I mean, there are tourists, well, hikers path around here. And they are well documented and usually they are better kept for several reasons. First, which is that more people pass through and second, which is that there are organisms that keep these paths in good state. So my hope is I will reach this path and it will be in good shape. If not, I'm going to have to go through a field and hope that everything goes okay. But for now, I'm moving and it's not far away. So I'm crossing my fingers and trying my best. Now, doing this really slows down whatever pace you may have otherwise, because usually you don't get good paths this way, but sometimes it's you have to decide that it's your best option and if it doesn't work out you have to acknowledge it go back and go around whatever time it takes if you can't avoid it you have to avoid hurting yourself okay now I should be there soon Now this hasn't happened happened a lot. Usually if it happened I had a good path around that wasn't taking too long or I could just you know go through even though it was not easy. But this is the first time I think that no not the first actually it totally happened. I was in forest but this one I hate because it's really on a hill, so nothing is flat. And, oh, sorry. I had rocks to go around and it was quite steep, so it's the bad kind of place to get lost in this way because what can happen is you can get to a point where the rock looks down and there is no way. Okay, this should be it. And I'm gonna leave you here, hoping that everything turns out all right. On that note, see you soon. And don't get lost, except if you decide to. <laughs>